<laughs> Hi, this is Leslie Doral at Sweet Tomato Test Garden in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I know you have seen the video on how we assemble our beds. Uh, today, Tim and I are going to show you how we move a bed because we made a mistake in where we put it and now we want to change its location. So we're going to move one of our beautiful white beds someplace else and we're going to show you how you lift it away from the soil and the plants that are, are growing in it. So I hope you hope you find this useful and helpful. Thank you. This is the bed that Timba and Elijah are going to be moving and uh, with that here's Timba and hello Elijah. Hi world. Say hi, world. Hi, world. <laughs> hi. Hi. Okay, let's move this bed. Okay, remember what to do, son? Yeah. Okay, come on, let's do that. Stand over here. Stand over there and pick up that plant. Pick up the plant. Like mama practice. Okay, good job. Okay, go to the other side. Go to the other side. Let go of the plant. Get your shoe on. <laughs> Don't fall. <laughs> All right, come on. Come on, help me. We have to put the shoe on before we move the bed. Okay. It's always important. What's happened here is, is the side of this bed comes off absolutely beautifully because the irrigation was piped into it from underneath, underneath the soil instead of over the top. So it's very movable. And what we're left with here now is a perfectly formed piece of uh, soil, uh, even without the bed. And, and as you can uh, see, the soil here. We're going to leave these plants growing until the frost comes and kills them and then we'll harvest them and plant something else. We'll let that grow out and then we're going to fill the bed with the in the new location with um, fresh soil and replant that and uh, put in some new irrigation. So there we have it. This is Leslie Doyle at the Sweet Tomato Test Garden in Las Vegas, Nevada and I hope you enjoyed the little video that I made on how we move our beds once we've discovered we put them in the wrong place. Thank you. If you're having problems growing vegetables or tomatoes in your desert garden, I, might, uh, I would like to suggest buying either one of my books. Uh, this is how I garden in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I feel that if you do what I do, you should have the same success that I have huge tomatoes and an abundance of them all summer long. Great vegetables all year long. You can pick food every day of the year.